Hi everybody, this is the Sherzai family today. Hello. I hope you're all doing Hello. well. We decided to bring our kids into this video because we're talking about a very important topic, Halloween detox. So we yeah. wanted to bring this, uh, this conversation up today. And I'll be honest with you, we were initially a little hesitant to talk about, you know, something like Halloween and candies and sugar because, you know, just being neurologists, we wanted to be um, neurologists and scientists. And we wanted to make sure that the topic is relevant to, of course, neurology and neuroscience. But when you look at health, you know, this is where it all starts. It starts around your dinner table. It starts at home. It starts in, in your kitchen. Yeah, we And uh, we wanted to, you know, I, I think this is ver a very important step towards health. Yeah, we, this is a worry for us. We are scientists. We do research. We do di secondary database, uh, uh, basic science. But it's uh, critical also to show that uh, healthcare starts in your home. This is the whole point of this. Um, specifically Halloween, because it's a challenge. We have two kids who love uh, the Halloween holidays. And yes. they, most importantly, the candy. The yes. candy, and we, we don't want them to feel deprived. So we, that's, with that in mind, we wanted to show that you can actually, not just Halloween, during all of the Halloweens, uh, holidays, you can actually have a healthy lifestyle as well as not feel deprived, as well as be part of the, the whole community. That's important. That's as important as anything else. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, uh, it's very important to enjoy life. It's important to understand that health, like you said, is not deprivation. So we actually prepared a couple of sweets just as a demonstration of, you know, a, a simple way to, to get rid of all that sugar that you consume during Halloween. We're not deprived, as you can see. <laughs> but yes. No, it's yes. not deprivation. Yes. Yeah. Healthy sweets. So, so we celebrated Halloween yes. and we went uh, trick-or-treating with the kids uh, in Redlands near Loma Linda. And uh, we went, we had a great time. We had our costumes on. And so what did we do? So we went trick or treating, we got a candy, but we, we decided to have like, have a little bit of candy, not a lot, and have at yeah. least, at, at most actually, one sweet a day. And we were saying, it's not about deprivation, not about taking away the sweets, it's about taking away the sweets and replacing them with healthier, better, and Delicious, amazing food yeah. like these. It's <laughs> yeah. easier to transition to eating healthy again. Exactly. So, so we did. So we did get some candy. The kids actually yeah. went and they collected their favorite candies. I, I think I had a little bit more than I should have. But <laughs> yeah. 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 But what did you do with the rest? What I did with the rest was um, I kind of like started pushing myself away from it and slowly moved myself to these snacks, which are which are healthy, but they're still sweet. So kind of um, let me keep my sweet tooth, but ignore all those unhealthy sweets. And it, and it allowed, me to allowed me and Sophie to transition from that crazy unhealthy mode to, to healthy again. Yeah. I mean, it was actually much easier than I thought, because look at this, donuts, <laughs> donuts, donuts, truffles, amazing. Yeah, so. Oh, I'll, I'll tell everybody will be out, yeah. soon about the recipe. So the point is, you know, for, for us parents is just to be prepared. That's what yes. it all comes down to, you know, a couple of days. Uh, <laughs> they can't wait. <laughs> no, well, like, kudos to both of you for controlling yourself. Um, but, you know, the, the point is preparation. Uh, a couple of days ahead of time, knowing some of the good yeah. recipes, preparing it, keeping it at home, so that when the candies come in, you actually have alternatives. So, uh, diving into some of the things we have Yeah, right but, now. But, but it's really important that this is not just for Halloween. We have several holidays coming up. We have the Thanksgiving, Christmas, Christmas New Year's, those are, those on and on and on. And, and for us, it's every weekend is a, is a holiday. So, so, <laughs> yes. uh, so that challenge is always there. And I, I challenge you guys, uh, and you guys have shared some of your recipes or the recipes that we have, and you've made it and shared it with us, to replace, when you get together with a family, to kind of change that culture and have one healthy recipe, one healthy sweet, one healthy uh, food, that, that everybody gets used to. Absolutely. I think 
um, that's that's how it starts when the whole ma uh, family members or the whole community um, is involved. Correct. So having a healthy option is very very important. So you want to get into this so we can get into it. Sure. <laughs> I mean this cut this is almost I don't know about you guys but it almost looks unhealthy. Uh, but I, I trust me, it's all made of whole sugar foods. free. It's sugar free. It doesn't Fat have free. any saturated fats. Yeah. So we'll talk about this one. So this is made from hazelnuts, dates, and cocoa powder, and it's just super delicious. And it reminds me of the Ferrero Rocher uh, candies that yes. came with like oh, golden wrappers. Yes. Um, over here we have baked donuts, and you know it's actually made out of uh, almond meal or almond flour and glazed with chocolate. By the way, all of this didn't, wasn't backbreaking. She did this with our help. I was the, the I, I made the little balls. <laughs> I, 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 it took, the whole thing was about two hours? Yeah, it, yeah. it's not, wow. you know, each one of them didn't take more than, um, more than 30 minutes to prepare. Um, and that one over there, which is my favorite, is made from macadamia nuts. Yes. And uh, coconut, ground coconut. I'll do the hard work of demonstrating. As well as <laughs> lime. So it's the lime coconut no, I'm uh, the demonstrator. Truffles. So you, you be a That's demonstrator his job as well. Taste. Let's see if it's kid approved. <laughs> yeah. It's kid approved. Kid approved. That's <laughs> be the biggest badge that I can get. Uh, and, and, you know, for sweetness, uh, of course, dates, just pure dates, uh, blended very well. Yeah. And for the for the coconut uh, macadamia lime truffles, I used um, erythritol, uh, which is you know it doesn't have any calories. So you know there are options. And then of course you know the lovely fruits, the berries. You know, getting used to eating berries and fruits on a and regular nuts. basis and nuts. And starting it very early in life, and for those of us who have kids, you know, just having fruits and nuts everywhere around us is important. Yeah. So that's basically it. And we all know the, the bad things that sugar do to our, our brain, and we're not going to go into the details of it uh, this time. And you can actually watch our video on YouTube. Uh, but, you know, this is, um, this is a, another way of uh, living. One of the things we talk about is not just the, the science behind it, which we are involved in, not only the, 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 the utility of providing this, but creating a culture change. A culture change, to me, the definition of culture is when ideas and language around the concept becomes ever-present, ubiquitous in a population. The language of healthy eating and options of healthy eating is not there. Mm -hmm. and, and people feel either deprived or they feel like as if they're contorting themselves. No, the options are there. Start putting it into your family's health. Uh, the idea of eating something that's unhealthy, lots of sugar, actually chemically changes your children's brains. Absolutely. Forget about adults and midlife and later life where, where the brain is already being taxed. It's also cranky after uh, Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and migraines and all those other stuff, but that, that is actually a end stage product. At the molecular and vascular level, there's a lot of damage. Yeah. But when you have something like this, which is food that's almost like medicine, you have omegas, you have vitamins, you have everything else. Fiber. Without fiber, without Tons the saturated fats, without the sh sugar that, that overwhelms the system, that's culture change. Uh, and so we, we kind of pride ourselves in creating the language, creating the, 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 the environment where people say, oh, okay, this is not an outlandish thing out there in an esoteric little book. This is part of living. Exactly. I can actually include it in my children's, uh, this is better than medicine. Yeah. In fact, it is better than vitamins because vitamins in food form actually function better. Yeah, because they work together with other vitamins. In synergy, absolutely. And you can eat more of it. And you can eat more of it. Encourage to eat yes. more. And not feel guilty. Yes. yes. Think about that. Donut as medicine. Exactly. Never in a million years. This, take one of these and call me. Well, don't. You won't call me uh, uh, every morning. Absolutely. So that's how that's how you actually bring um, health changes to your life. And uh, I'm so glad that you're here with us and joining us. And uh, thank you so much for your for your comments. We'll go to a couple of comments here. Um, I was told oh, by a person at work that we cannot change the culture. This could not be further from truth. The culture is changing. It sure is. It sure is. Thank you so much for your comment. Um, it's slow, but we actually see it. And um, I know that you work in, in healthcare too. And this is how it starts. This is how Alzheimer's dis uh, disease prevention starts. This is how stroke prevention starts. This is how diabetes prevention starts. Heart disease. Cancer. Cancer. Um, so, you know, by including this and by incorporating these small little changes on a regular basis, 
it'll be easier for everybody else around us to accept it and for us to live vibrant, cognitively vibrant and uh, uh, wonderful lives. For these and other recipes, you can actually go to our website, teamsharesi.com. They're not there yet. We're actually working on a fabulous Thanksgiving recipe with desserts and, and whole meals and sides as well. The entire meal. And we will, we will keep you apprised. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So thank you for joining us. Um, we'll see you next week. And you can get some of the recipes from the book as well. Yes, some of the wonderful dessert recipes and treat recipes are in there as well. So have a great day. Bye. 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 Video assistant this week, so. <laughs> <laughs>